You already know what it is. It's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews. This time over at Pizza Hut to check out a little pasta action for the very first time, actually. So stay tuned because the Tuscany meaty marinara pasta is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So here we go with the Tuscany meaty marinara pasta. And guys, I am instantly greeted by lots of lovely Italian seasoning in the car right now on top of a very nice presentation of melted mozzarella cheese. Feast your eyes on that. This is a fairly deep tin that I'm looking at here, filled in with pasta. We've got a meaty marinara sauce seasoned with Italian goodness, topped off with some cheesy goodness, guys. Wow, that is looking really, really good. Smells fantastic. Next to it looks like we've got five breadsticks, a very decent size, and I gotta say for $8.99, this is not a bad deal. Looks like it's seasoned off there with some Parmesan. You can see what looks like olive oil goodness possibly there, but it definitely looks really, really inviting. But I am really blown away by this. The main event, this smells classic, it smells delicious, and I'm not gonna waste any more time with this one, guys. Let's get into it and see if the flavor is gonna deliver because I am digging it already. It's the Tuscany meaty marinara pasta here at Pizza Hut. Let's peep out this flavor. Wow, guys, this looks really, really fantastic. I mean, I was expecting it to kind of look like the picture, and honestly, this really does deliver. Take a close look at all of that melted cheese on the very top right there. That is looking really, really nice, and it's got some heft to it as well. I mean, look at the thickness of this tin. It's definitely packed up pretty nicely. All right, so as my fingers are getting nice and toasty right now because this thing is virtually burning hot, I've got them pretty much protected with a napkin underneath me. And before we get started, like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, Tuscany meaty marinara. Let me get a little bit of everything here, which is really pretty basic ingredients, but that cheese is a lovely situation. Man, there is a lot of meat on this, guys. Take a look at this. That is nice. Here we go. Let's see how Pizza Hut does it over here. Mmm. They do it right. Wow. Very meaty. Mmm. Overly seasoned with the Italian goodness on this one. Lots of basil. Rich flavor coming from that meat. Guys, this is really, really good. As you can see, it's kind of hard to mess up something like this, but thankfully, it's not watery. The sauce is pretty thick. Mmm, wow. Oh yeah. And the cheese on the very top of this here. Let me grab a little bit of that. Of course, I'm gonna keep giving you these close-ups here. That is a lovely situation. Take a look at that. Almost like Mama used to make, honestly. It's got that feel to it. It's really kind of old world style, if I can say it that way. But the seasoning is good, the flavor is good. The noodles themselves are kind of al dente, so they have a little bit of firmness to them, a little bit of texture. So they're not kind of watered down or anything like that but this really tastes like the sauce has been simmering. And I gotta say guys, the flavor is popping on this one. Mmm, I am digging that. All right, let's see how the breadstick is. Nice and seasoned as you guys can see there. Thickness is on point. Very, very nice all the way around. Let's give this a shot. Mmm, that's got a nice pop to it as well. I wouldn't say it's like Olive Garden pop, but the saltiness is similar. And even though they're not really round like Olive Garden, I do like the fact that you can really taste the airiness of the bread a little bit better on this one. The fact that they're kind of squared off like this. So they obviously just drop these into their conveyor ovens there and kind of toast them up. But this is lovely, guys. The saltiness is nice. The Italian seasoning on this as well, a little light butteriness to it overall. Let me get a little bit of that sauce action here. A little meaty goodness, if you will. Let's see if we can get a little bit on here. Well, maybe just a little bit, just for flavor. We'll add just a little bit in there. But as you can see, a nice sauce. It really soaks it up onto the bread. Mmm, yeah. This is pretty banging. It really is. And this is only one of the trays that they offer. There's another one they have on the menu. I think it's an Alfredo variant. And you can mix and match for family style with this. So you can actually get two of these trays and a whole bunch of breadsticks. And I got to admit, I may actually do that because this is pretty banging already on its own. But on its own, I should say, again, let me grab a little bit of everything on here. The flavor is nice, the tin is packed. They have a lot of really, really awesome flavor coming out of this one here. And of course, a nice side of those breadsticks to go with. It's a lovely situation. And the flavor is just delivering. Like I said, all throughout this review so far, it's nicely done. The al dente noodles, the meat itself, nice and hearty. There's a decent amount of it in here, as you can see, and plenty of mozzarella cheese, guys. Look at that here. Let me focus that in just a little bit for you. It is a lovely situation when it comes to the cheese department on this. So definitely banging, definitely worth it. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be back to get this one again. The wifey's gonna dig this, I think. Mm. 
So one more glory shot for you here, guys. Plenty of mozzarella cheese melted over this one here, and the flavor of that meat absolutely delivers. A nice, thick and hearty sauce, and of course, those perfectly al dente noodles underneath there. This is a nice combination, of course, with the breadsticks, a nice combo overall. Definitely recommend it on this one, and the price isn't bad either. You know, I've always wanted to give the pasta a shot over here at Pizza Hut, and aside from all the promo items that I love to check out over here, it's nice to know that this is available year-round, and I'm glad that I was finally able to give it a go right now on camera for the very first time in front of all of you. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the Tuscany Meaty Marinara Pasta here at Pizza Hut a pretty rock solid nine out of 10. Now this is by no means the very best meaty marinara sauce I've ever had because naturally when it comes to that, for me personally, I need to have much thicker pieces of meat in my sauce. But when it comes to fast food, that easily ranks up there. And for $8.99, it's a banging deal, guys. And the flavor did deliver. So easily, I would recommend it to you. Okay, now the obvious question is, are you gonna take me up on that offer? Drop some comments down below. Have you ever had the pasta over here at Pizza Hut? And by the way, which do you prefer? Straight marinara with no meat or meat in it? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So wait, stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Promo pizzas and items aside, guys, I would easily rock this one outside of regular reviews because the quality is pretty high. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.